Hey guys, this is uh, Frank, and I am here um, to bring you the first Pulp Digest. Uh, at this point, pretty much nobody can make it to the meeting, so I'm just going to show you guys what we have so far, um, and hopefully I'll get to show you in person sometime soon. As you guys know, the topic of the zine this time is going to be conspiracy. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm like seeing my own face down here. Let me see if I can... Nope, can't minimize it. Okay. So uh, the idea is conspiracy. Um, Stu and I have put together an outline, which um, as soon as uh, you can scan that in, Stu, just get it to me and I'll, I'll forward it to everybody, or you can forward it to everybody. It's whatever. But um, these are some of the pages that Stu's made so far. You can see here he's got like the confidential in the corner and it's kind of the idea behind it is kind of like a, a government document and it's it's pretty funny I think you guys will enjoy that there's also um, as we approach the wormhole or perhaps in the wormhole or some somewhere considering the wormhole there's this this uh, these mathematics are all based off of uh, Marco Rodin if you guys want to check him out he talks about vortex mathematics it might give you some inspiration he's really he's insane um, I'm sure you guys have all seen this one. It's Art on Terror. This is the first piece that Stu made uh, for the new zine. Um, so this is, you know, of course, Hurricane Katrina, and then everything going on around here is what's going on. Um, and by the way, if you guys want to use any of these pages or any of this stuff, just let me know what you need, and uh, I'll get, get it scanned in as soon as I possibly can. Uh, this is another drawing that Stu did here. kind of see it. It's pretty cool. Um, I told him I would trace over it with pen, but I think it looks good enough in pencil that I kind of don't need to. Uh, but if you guys want to use this design, uh, I can also take this design and um, put it into Photoshop and use it as a as a multiply layer so that it can go over something else. So um, that's an option. I, I know Photoshop pretty well, and I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. But um, this is this is like the first page here. Filth, and I kind of, I never noticed it before, but I kind of like the way that wormhole kind of like goes through filth in a transparent layer, so maybe we can duplicate that. Uh, this is the other, the other one, wormhole and filth. I think if this were like superimposed behind this, it would look pretty cool. That's what these meetings are for, folks, so we can inspire each other. This is a Mark Orden picture, I'm pretty sure, or it's just an event horizon. For a, for a black hole. So black hole singularity, stuff like that, really important. Um, this is a, a image from the Etc. Discordia. Uh, if you guys, I know Sarah knows about um, the Principia and everything, and uh, Corinne, I want my book back, but <clears throat> um, you know, that kind of stuff, it's all copy left, which means it's not copy written, which means we can use any of it. So if you have a quote out of the Principia that you like, or you decide to look into some of the other stuff, you can also see that stuff uh, in the Principium. We can use that. Here's some more Marco Rodin spiral energy stuff. These were sent... Oh, no, and I, I wrote this. I think it's funny that it's on a thing. And check it out, check it out. Dubs. Dubs right there. And dubs. It's pretty cool. Uh, these were sent by this guy, the guy who made the, the documentary. If you guys haven't seen the um, the Tiles documentary that Stu sent out a while back, you should check it out. Uh, it's really good, and um, it kind of gives you like an in-depth perception on like what, uh, what a conspiracy is really all about and what it means to solve that conspiracy. So these are some of the things. I haven't actually read this one, so I can't tell you what it's about. This is something that he drew, just so you can see. Durer. Jason Durer is his name, I believe. And uh, this is something else that Stu made. Um, this over here is guacamole. And this right here is a picture of Marco Rodin himself, with the threes and the nines and the sixes all over there. This is some of the Jason Durer stuff here. We were thinking we could probably put this, like, across two pages and fill up 
the outside with more crazy crap. And this is his last page that he sent us. It's like a, a letter, but it has all this writing on it. And it's pretty trippy stuff. Um, here's some of the stuff that I made. Of course, I sent this to you guys in the email, but I just want to show you it's all printed. Um, so I have a regular size of that one. I also have it in full page. Um, then we have this image, which um, just to let you guys know what it is, these are actually like supposed to be Illuminati people and down here there are some sacrifices, bloody sacrifices, and these of course are the high priests and whatever and in the background it's like Kabbalistic code and stuff like that. Um, I also have this one which I sent you guys yesterday. This was uh, made from the Illuminati card game which uh, conspiracy theorists use to kind of predict what will happen. There's stuff like, uh, if you can see right there, it says terrorist nuke, and you can see these are the twin towers, and there's a bomb going off. I, this is impossible for me, right here. So, uh, it's a pretty cool image. I would like to get it a little bit more high quality when I actually get the print. And then these are my double page spreads that I made. Um, these will go on two pages. Stu was saying something about maybe using one of them as a cover, but I know that I have uh, allotted the cover to Corinne and Ethan, so if you guys you know, are working on a cover, awesome. And if you're not, well, we got options. This is the first image. It's upside down. I have no idea if you guys can actually see this, but you can check it in your email um, and look at it. And there's also... this. So you're talking about exposing conspiracy and, and chaos and craziness. This, I mean, this, I think these things pretty much capture that craziness a lot. Um, and, you know, Sarah, I was thinking uh, particularly like your images would go really well over, over this stuff because it would kind of all blend into a, to a sort of thing. Um, also, like these pages that I've been making, they're not like, you know, that I'm not going to be mad if you paste something on top of it. I'm just trying to get us a lot of stuff going on in the background so that we can really make it hallucinatory, hallucinatory and, uh, and kind of crazy. So that's the stuff that I have so far. I think I've shown you guys everything. Um, I, I'm working in Harahan right now, so it's kind of difficult for me to, to set this stuff up. But if you guys will uh, let me know when you're going to be available, um, we can set up the next meeting so that everybody can actually come. Uh, I'll be uploading videos on this thing. Uh, if you guys want to upload videos and show everybody what you have, that's perfectly cool too. Uh, just because we can't meet in real life doesn't mean we can't still see each other, have FaceTime, and, uh, and really you know get this project working. So uh, if you have anything that you've written or you have any pages that you've worked on, please feel free to upload a video or send me an email and I'll forward it to everybody else. Um, if you guys have any ideas or any people who are interested in getting involved in this stuff or you have anything at all to, to expose to us, please uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm not very comfortable behind these cameras either, but, uh, you know, this has been 8 minutes and 40 seconds, so I figure that's probably enough time. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we can see each other in reality sometime soon.